guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am here with my twin sister, Morgan, and it is our 21st birthday today. It is August 19th, and we really wanted to film a get ready with us and do our makeup together mm -hmm. and show you guys. So, yes. we've done our base makeup already yes. just to save some time. I'm going to show them what I used. Okay, me too. I used, so I mixed the Airbrush Flawless Foundation and the Smashbox Studio Skin. And this one's my Charlotte Tilbury because this one's too light, but I'm not feeling anymore. And this one's too dark. So I mixed those two. And then for concealer, I just used my Born This Way and Jouer. Same thing. And then I set with the CoverGirl Matte Powder. And I used the Fenty Beauty um, Setting Powder to bake my face. That's my favorite powder. Yeah, I need to try that powder. You didn't use primer? Oh, and I used the e.l.f. Putty Primer. Which putty primer? There's only one. No, there's three kinds. There's oh. the poreless, the luminous, the po poreless. The poreless. Okay, yeah, see, because I have the matte putty primer. Oh. I mixed the matte putty primer with this Becca primer sample, the Brighton and Blur primer, but I added the e.l.f. primer because there was barely any in here. And then for foundation, I used this sample. Ah! of the Wander Beauty Nude Illusion Liquid Foundation and I used the shade Tan. And I really liked how it applied and the color was great and it's a full coverage foundation and it had a nice finish to the skin. And yeah, really like it so far. Then to bake, I used the Cody Airspun Powder and I normally don't bake anymore because my face can get a little cakey but I finished my CoverGirl pressed powder, so I baked today because I want everything to be locked in for the rest of the night. And oh yeah, we didn't say what we're doing, but we're just going to dinner with our friends and I'm super excited. Me too. I forgot to mention, I used the Juice Beauty Concealer. This one is nearly done in the shade Buff. I'm just trying to finish it up. Oh, that's it. That's it. That is it. So I do my eyes first and then I finish up my face makeup but Morgan is opposite. I do my skin first because I just look too pale like I need to see what the whole face looks like before I do my eyeshadow. See I like to do my eyeshadow first because then afterwards I'll decide like what blush and highlight mm. shades I want to use to go with the eyes. Yeah. Sorry I'm gonna keep yawning because I took a nap and I <laughs> like 30 minutes ago. So for eyeshadow I'm gonna use my Natasha Denona Biba palette. Yay. I got this this morning. Morgan bought this for me because all quarantine I just kept saying the number one makeup part I want is a Natasha Denona Biba palette. Like, I will own this palette before I die. And ah, here is the beauty. It's a nice palette. It's just stunning. And after I decided I wanted it, so many YouTubers started to use it often in their videos. And I was like, damn, now I really, really need it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start off by, by bronzing. I don't really contour per se. Um, I'm just using this... I don't know what it's called. Oh, it's the Morphe Contour and Highlight Palette. It just looks like this. And I just mix all three of the shades, basically. I'm first going to go into Freckle, the light brown shade. And apply this in my crease. And I'm using the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. This is the only brush I like to use. And when I um, bronze, I don't like to spread it. I like to tap it on my skin. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because I like to use a dense brush. Do you? I just tap it like this. Oh, I do have another Natasha Denona palette. I have the blue palette, the small, I think it's six colors. And I think it's five. Oh, maybe it is five. But it's really great, but because it's silvers and blues, I don't use it often. So I know I'm going to use this palette a lot, but I've purchased a lot of eyeshadow palettes during quarantine so I also purchased the have to use it in a video the NYX ultimate utopia palette when I saw it online I was like oh my gosh I need this because I've never had an oh no I do have an NYX eyeshadow palette um but this is one of their massive ones and I tried it out yesterday and it was a really really great so I can't wait to use it in a video so obviously Morgan and I are going to want to look super glam for our birthday I mean we always dress up for most occasions but mm -hmm. our birthday we have to go all out yeah so as you can see i always like tap it right on my cheekbone and i always go upward i never like some youtubers i find they go like really down like this and i'm like no 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 like up <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna go into coco so once that's all tapped off i watched um 
I think it was Vogue, it was Sabrina Carpenter. And she did this thing where she like put, the, so I'm just gonna take the lighter shades and she like put it all around her lips and she said it helps to make them look bigger. And I'm like, oh yeah. I'm like, I was really surprised that she put it all around her lips, but it looked great. Like her makeup always looks really nice. Yeah, so I've been doing that since and I find it does help. Like obviously I, I, I mean, I have a decent size mouth, but it just helps to make it look more plump because you're putting the shadow like everywhere. And I, like you can see, I just put, I just like to build it up and I find it really works though. And I always like to put a bit, maybe I'll try that out. A leftover, I'm just gonna I think freckle would be a good shade to do that with. I, um, I, I love watching the Vogue Beauty Secrets because I like learning and hearing the tips that celebrities do when they do their own makeup. Yeah. That looks, I mean, it's, it looks crazy now, but it'll look fine after. And I'm just going to take that same brush. This is a Morphe M330 brush. It's an eyeshadow brush, but I like to use it to contour my nose. And I just, again, mix the lightest shades and slightly go over. I never used to contour my nose before, but I made such a difference. I'm going to go into seed. Yeah, I really wanted to try what Sabrina did. Before she applied makeup, she takes oh, ice cubes and she rubs it all over her face to awaken her face. Yeah. I never wanted to try that. Brush and blend it. Okay. I think that looks decent. I'm going to next take my Patrick Ta blush. It's really my favorite blush. This one's in She Seductive. It's one of, I think it's the darkest shade. And I would say just to the back towards uh, on my cheekbones and then more so on the apple of my cheeks. I'm going to take... Um, the butter blush yeah. in vintage <laughs> rouge, which is a more nude nude shade. Matthew was saying to me the other day that I he finds it so funny he loves it um, when I drop something in videos. He's like, you know, you drop something in like every video. <laughs> and I was like, I have a small Could you space that I sit in. <laughs> yeah, so I always drop something like it'll just like fumble out of my hands. I always like to take just a little on my nose. Which shade should I use, Monroe or Shine? I like Monroe. Okay, yeah, I was thinking that too. So I'm gonna take Monroe and apply this all over mm -hmm. my lid. As With you can see, I always like to, I literally just like, when it comes to the product, I just dab and then I put, I really like to build up the product because I don't like to just like smack all the pigment because it's so much harder to blend down and I find everyone's like, I want like full pigment, but most of the time, like, I don't because I want to be able to build it up and bring it up to my temples. Doing my eye makeup, really simple because I want to do a red lip. I haven't done a red lip in quite a while. And I'm so excited. I am wearing, we're both matching. We're wearing cowl neck dresses. I'm wearing a silver one and we're just wearing a, a navy one. one. A blue one, yeah. Yeah. Mine is from Misguided. And, and mine is from Aritzia. Yeah. Um, we'll show you after what it looks like. Oh, I'm just taking the And I just bought these new heels yesterday. These lilac square toed, not kitten heels, they're a bit too big to be kitten heels, but they're a small heel. And I got them from H&M and I am so excited to wear them. I painted my nails purple. This is the new Essie nail polish from their new um, vegan line. If you didn't know, Essie has a new vegan nail polish line called Expressy. And I have two of their nail polishes and they are so good. I want to get so much more. Um, this is in the shade IRL and it's a beautiful violet color. I'm obsessed. And I bought this gel like top coat, which makes your nails look like gel and gives it a very shiny top coat. And nice. I love it. I've been reading, I me and Taylor both been reading a lot since quarantine, but I'm reading it. I like always said it's my conquest. I read three. I read three Stephen King books. It's my fourth one. Um, when did you start it? Like three weeks ago. I read almost five hundred pages, and oh boy, it's it's so dense. But it's really really good so far. And I never watch the movies because I don't like to read a book if I already watched the movie because I I don't like anticipating or already knowing what's going to happen in a sense where it's like you have that expectation or oh is it going to be similar to the movie because this is what happens like i just don't like that i want to go in with like a clear mind and it's really really good so far it's just it's going to take me i'm hoping and my goal is to finish it before i start school because we're starting school in two weeks which is kind of a bummer you i started three weeks oh yeah i started in two weeks but 
it's really really good i'm going into the jacqueline hill palette the original morphe one i don't honestly i'm not the biggest fan of jacqueline hill anymore but i'm just not the type of person where um like oh i'm not going to use the product anymore like if the product's good i'm gonna use it and i i've had this for a really long time and i've always yeah. liked the shade so i'm still gonna use it you know i paid money for it <laughs> yeah exactly if you have a makeup product that you bought a while ago from a person that you no longer support there's no point in not using it because yeah. you're just wasting it i'm gonna take the shade firework which is just this oh wait which one yeah this um like tan color and i'm just gonna buff that all over my lid i don't exactly know what i'm doing today i'm just gonna go with the flow actually it's funny i was looking through my palettes and i have so many morphe palettes really i have zero morphe palettes i've never tried oh no wait i have the james charles palette yeah that's it though i have the james charles one i have the one you gave me the, the boss one i think it's called i call you a morphe palette yeah when i think for christmas taylor you're so funny i feel like that's so strange for me to get you a morphe palette if i show you it you'll remember it okay so that's what i do again i don't like to take a lot of pigment because i just like to brush it out and where we i go. just i love this palette the shades the tones everything let's see wow i like to buff it to right here like right next to the nose bridge so massimo got me this casual winged eyeliner set with a stamp and just a normal felt tip liner but i'm just going to use the felt tip today because i think i'll try out the stamp in a different video and i don't want to mess up my makeup today but um this kasha i think that's like the third time i dropped something kasha is a korean makeup brand and they sell it in sephora and i have a blush and a highlight from them and i really like their brand so i was like oh my gosh did you know i have makeup for them he was like no I don't like but like what a great coincidence mm -hmm. so let's try this out mm -hmm. oh i love this purple in the palette i'm debating if i should use it but i don't know i think i just maybe it lightly or in the outer corner i like putting a deep shimmer in the outer corner i think i think i'll just see but next i'm gonna take the shade next to which is called hunt this shade right next to it, which is a more cool toned brown. I'm not gonna wear eyeliner today because I, I don't know mm. how to do eyeliner. I really like suck at it. This is really nice. I can do eyeliner though with eyeshadow. That's like about the only thing. Yeah. I have a very shaky hand, that's why. I still don't believe I've never tried gel eyeliner before. I'm gonna try it. One day. As you can see, I blended that out. And I strictly like I'll I'll just mix the two shades. That I use and just slightly on my lower lash line. Yeah. It's it's so much more difficult to do eyeliner when you're holding up a mirror. Yeah. I'm going to take which shade should, oh I'm gonna take um what's it called? SBN different tones of brown which I like. So I'm gonna take this one. This one kind of has more red undertones brown so i'm just going to take that one and can again continue buffing it in my crease my lid with the same brush so i just like to slowly darken it up and build it mm -hmm. i'm getting hungry my tummy's growing i'm obsessed with the hershey's nougat toffee chocolates oh, yeah, it's in the orange wrapping oh they're so good and like I, used to be, Hershey. I used to be more of a salty person but lately i enjoy sweets more. yeah since quarantine me too like i just i always crave sweets more know. like every time i see dessert i'm like oh yeah i get hyper yeah we should talk about an update of our fitness journey oh my gosh yeah last time we filmed the video in um it was during quarantine. may i think yeah. yeah i think in may so we had i think only been working out for like three weeks. months yeah and now it's been now we've been working out for six months our arms are definitely more toned and they're a lot more stronger and i've definitely leaned out in my arms because it's crazy how you never notice what you actually look like until your body changes like every time i see pictures of me from when i was 18 19 i looked completely different but you know it's like that distorted image where you never actually thought you looked like that until you look different and and yeah but i've lost a total of 18 pounds which i'm really happy about and i'm not saying again i'm not saying i was big or anything but again i just 
noticed that gradually I just kept gaining weight over the years and if I continued how I was I was just going to keep gaining weight and I did want to shed some some fat in order to gain some muscle so that's yeah, how my so logic we was. Started, I don't know if we had started doing it um when we filmed the video last time but we started doing a lot more cardio we did cardio every yeah. day half of our workout was cardio and we started going for runs three times a week mm -hmm. and then doing cardio yeah. hit workouts but now we don't do much cardio maybe we'll do cardio like yeah. once or twice a week but honestly whenever we feel like it if we ate poorly like the yeah. last few days we'll do cardio just to burn off those calories but because we mm -hmm. we've lost the weight that we wanted to lose now we're just trying to grow our muscles and yeah. strengthen our body and now i'm trying to gain some weight actually but in muscle mass yeah i for five months, I would run three times a week and I would run about five kilometers each time. But again, I had to build up to that to build my endurance. Um, it was really hard, but I'm really proud of myself because I wanted to be fast. I wanted to be able to build up my stamina. And I've accomplished that. And every time I do go for a run, I only go maybe once a week now. You know, I'm still able to be consistent and keep up that same pace, which is what I wanted. I'm so focused on getting gains. And yeah, I want like a really strong back and shoulders and arms i want to find muscles i just i don't want to just be lean i want to have muscles i want to be strong Ooh. and yeah i'm like lately i've been really thinking about how i'm gonna look in it well six months from now after um a year working out and i'm just so excited to just continue the journey continue the process yeah and see more results i just realized that on the because on the back is where all the shades are but it's reversed opposite side like the purple like the purple shade is here, but the purple shade is here. So just ignore. I think the colors I said were wrong, but I, I pointed. It's okay. They so see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm taking this sh this shade lower down now. The mascara I used was the CoverGirl Super Sizer Fibers, and for bronzing and contouring, I normally just contour and I guess bronze, but always with the same shade. But I want to try. I watched Lisa Eldridge's recent video on how to seamlessly bronze and contour, and I want to try out her technique so she contours first with a cool tone neutral shade and then she bronzes with a warm tone shade above the contour to just give more warmth and to give the warmth your face would have as if it were in the sun as she explains i'm gonna take a slimmer brush though this oh i never said what brush that was this was the morphe m441 and now I'm gonna take the more. Oh, never mind. It's the same brush. This one just <laughs> looks skinnier. It's the same brush, and I'm just gonna take that shade right next to the shade I use. This one's a dark brown, but it's a little more warm tone. Like you can, that it looks more like there's some red undertone. And I find most makeup artists will tell you it's like just take a little and then build it up. Like never mm -hmm. just smack it on. Like yeah, I always say that in videos. It's so much harder to blend something if you apply a lot of product on it first because then it'll just go everywhere and it'll most likely get patchy yeah Maria and i would highly recommend watching the second season of glow up oh these yeah these makeup artists are just truly talented and just so truly good. show makeup as a form of art and it inspires me so much to just push my limits and i really do want to try to do um transformative creative looks like that but yeah i need those certain products you need face paint yeah and you need the specific brushes so I really want to invest in in different tools eventually in my get, collection. I need to get a brush. Okay, now I'm going to bronze and I'm going to take... So I used the Bahama Mama bronzer, I think I forgot to say, which is a neutral tone bronzer. And then I could get a brush at the bottom. Mm, I was really hoping I would not forget anything again this time because I did last time and I did not. And for bronzing, I'm going to use the Urban Decay Beach Bronzer. So you would see me contour my face in videos with this bronzer. But I I think I'm probably going to like Lisa Eldridge's technique. And I will I think, continue doing my shading this way. So I'm just going to go over the contour. And blend that seamlessly with my... Contour shade. I've decided that I will do eyeliner today, but again with eyeshadow because that's that's all I can do. 
Um, I'm using the, okay, this literally just not one, but it's just a Morphe angled brush. Um, there's always like some black product on it, but I want to take um, a really dark brown right here. So it may translate as black on the camera, but it's just like a really, really dark brown. So I want to take that and just line my, line my eyes. I'm gonna, I started doing this recently, but I'm gonna take the bronzer and just go over the bridge of my nose. Oh God, I don't have my teeth on it. And it gives your, your face a nice sun-kissed effect. There's a YouTuber I watch, Julia Adams. She always does this and it always looks so great. I just prefer to use eyeshadow also to, to do like eyeliner or something because you know, like you can always blend it out and do like a, a smoky look with it. Whereas eyeliner, it's like you really do have to be precise. Okay, I forgot my eyebrow pomade, so I'm gonna quickly go get that. For eyebrows, I'm gonna use my Kai Brow Brow Pomade. This is the only eyebrow product I have. I really am not picky with brow products, so I usually just have one at a time till I finish it up. I'm gonna take this shade right here that was under the original tan color that I started with. And I'm just gonna brush that on the lid. Yeah. And I'm just taking this is literally such an old brush, but it's a really good like dent brush to like pack eyeshadow on. This is so pigmented. Like I haven't used this. Honestly, I haven't used this eyeshadow palette in a really long time. But I kind of just like saw it in my collection, and I was like, you know what? I should I should use that today. Which one? The Japanese one. And I'm just gonna blend. Take my brush before and just. Blend in the edges so they, they blend nicely. That shade right next to it, which is just a little lighter, and put it more towards my inner corner. So I'm just gonna wipe off some of that corner and just take some of that and just slightly put it here. like not directly in my inner corner, but more near it to just have that like pow. For my inner corner, I'm going to <laughs> mining my eyes with this essence pencil with two seconds. Wow. <laughs> oh, this sorry. is in um silky nude. It's so pigmented, like one swipe, boom, it's on. Wow. And then I'm going to mix the shade that I used just now and with the this um golden shimmer shade, but it's just more pale. So I'm gonna mix those two and put it in my inner corner with just this little um pointer brush. Is that what it's called? So I'm just going to mix those. And I'm just going to slightly take those two shades and just slightly put it on my brow bone. But don't do too much. I'm just, I was just really excited too because again, I'm quarantined. It's not like I'm wearing makeup a lot. I, I'm, just, I'm not the type of person to like, especially at work, like I'm not going to wear a full face of makeup when I'm just wearing a mask all day. Like it just, there's literally no point. No one's seeing it. So I never wear makeup to work anymore so this is it's like one of those rare occasions where i can wear makeup um again so it's always really exciting for me i love the silk brow trend like i'm i'm like a huge fan of it like it's just it's i love it and i have quite you can see my brows i literally never touch my eyebrows because like i just don't care <laughs> i'm using this tart amazonian clay blush in shade 5c wow i'm really excited taylor got me these soap brows it's the original brow soap from beauty bay and it came with this little spoolie so i'm really excited to use it so this is what it looks like i haven't touched it yet but again it's just i don't know i don't think there's anything at the top i think i just have to yeah you just rub it with the spoolie, spoolie and do it and then i think i'm gonna put some brow gel after just to bring some some more color to my eyebrows oh boy me and taylor with the brows the blocked brows like Oh boy, I look back at pictures and I'm just thinking, girl, what were you thinking? Like, girl, like the literally bricks on your face. Now for me, that was like two, two, three years ago. And I took screenshots from like some videos from the past and it was, it was a situation. <laughs> oh God, it was a crime. Was so bad. Brush my eyebrow up. 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 <laughs> If you know that reference, comment down below. Bad. Okay, I'm gonna use my BH Cosmetics 10 color blush palette. Do you wanna go in with the vanilla shade first? I just wanna see what that's gonna look like. Oh my gosh, I love it. 
there as you can see it's like it's just giving my brow that, yeah, that lift really nice. that I like I'm gonna keep going in with some more because I feel like with this product you really have to break it in it's so funny because I remember people would actually use like a bar of soap which is so funny to me I think people still do that though I know I love it though but I just uh I just wouldn't want to use like soap for that okay wow she's a killer brow Okay, I'm gonna do the next brow. I feel like some people are thinking like, oh, thin brows are gonna come back. Honey, no. Like, thin brows will never be it for me. Never. Oh, but Taylor's eyebrows are, are pretty uh. thin. <laughs> well, actually, they've grown out a bit. Um, not in terms of surface hair being larger, but just more hairs because I've been using castor oil, applying it on my lashes and my eyebrows, and it's been really working. My yeah. lashes have grown longer, my eyebrows have grown thicker, and I'm quite pleased. Okay, I'm just gonna wipe off that the like excess on my hand. Oh dang, I forgot my setting spray. You can use mine. It's the new one. And I, so it's this, so I'm done with my brows, and I'm just gonna put on some brow gel. I don't like to fill my eyebrows in anymore because I like how people fill them in. No, <laughs> I literally never. Where's my? Where's the eyebrow gel? Oh no! It's it's literally standing right in front of me. Oh my god! I'm blind. Um, so I'm just gonna take some brow gel because I honestly. I know, because the thing is for me is that I find when my eyebrows are, when I fill them in, it just looks like too much and like, it just doesn't look natural anymore, honestly. And I think my eyebrows, you know, are nice and obviously I do have some sparse areas, but I really, I honestly don't mind that. Like I'd rather um, lift up my brows than try to like make them look fuller. I just don't, ugh. they look good though. Like on me, I hated the natural eyebrow look and having sparse hairs like I find my face look better with a more structured and shaped brow. Ugh, and when I look back at pictures of like my brows, I'm just like, yeah, it's it looks better without it. I just put tusk. I don't want to interrupt Morgan, but I never know when she's gonna finish talking. Oh yes. Yeah. I use tusk and I put that on my brow bone in your corner and it's just stunning. I'm really excited. Taylor got me this Nabla highlighter. It's the skin glazing. Um glass and finish glow powder in the shade amnesia it's a really nice gold shade um so i'm excited to use that and I've never yeah i can't wait to see it on this novel before and i've and i've heard really good things about it i'm to gonna use mary luminizer to highlight i want a very subtle highlight i want the lip to be the main focus and it's very nice it's very, um, ooh, yeah. I don't know if it's giving me the glass skin effect. I'm, I'm not too sure about that, but it's a very, like, um, glowy highlighter. I don't really like it. I think this is the only red lipstick I have. Why wow, are you doing is... a red lip? This thing always needs to do a red lip. Oh, maybe I missed that part. I said in the beginning of the video. This is a 24-7 Glyno lip pencil with the matching bullet lipstick in Bad Blood from Urban Decay. Let's do this. Is this called? I'm using this, I'm gonna, I've got this when I, like on our Europe trip, like literally like five years ago, but I have a like the tip left and I wanna finish it. It's a very dark nude shade, but I'm gonna tone it down. It's the Kiko lip liner in Matita Labra. And this bite lip liner in Zero zero two. I'm gonna take my Smashbox lipstick in Safe Word. I love this lipstick. I've used it a lot. It's just like a perfect um, nude for me because it it has that nice pink undertone, but it's not pink. I really don't like pink lipsticks. I'm just gonna. Use so I'm using the other side so I can use it up more.
take the lip gloss Taylor got me, which is really exciting. It's Florence by um, Millie Bobby Brown. This one's called Mag Magnetic Magnetic Mill. I love Millie Bobby Brown. She's literally such a cutie. Ooh, oh my god, I love this lip gloss. It's quite pale, but like I feel like it contrasts really well with darker shades. Oh no, I think it's such a nice color. I know, I'm not saying it's not. Wait, do you have like a little concealer brush? Me. I should. Oh my god, I love this lip gloss. Definitely gonna be using it more. Because I like to set my face before the <gasps> mascara. I'm gonna use the Slay All Day Setting Spray in the Peach Scent by Gerard Cosmetics that Taylor got me, which I'm really excited about. So I'm gonna spray like that. Mm. Oh, it's so cold. Spray them! Okay, I'm just using this eyeliner to try and conceal it because I don't have a concealer brush. Got my fan. My fan is essential. Is it? Mm -hmm. Me too. I use my fan in every video. Um, it's like the main art fuzzy peach. Like like oh, candy. Uh, like a, like if you're eating candy. And I do. <laughs> the yeah. main art fuzzy yeah, peach. Yeah, that's what it smells like. <laughs> I'm going to take my eyelash curler. This one's by Tweezerman. and I just got this on Amazon because I really... Need an eyelash curler and I just like pulse it on my lash with my favorite mascara of all time, the Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes Mascara. It's literally the best mascara. It's the only mascara I use now. And I have I have the full size, I just haven't finished this mini size yet. Okay, so let's go in with this bam boy. I don't put mascara on my bottom lashes either. I don't like how it looks. I find it closest on my eyes and I find just putting on my top lashes gives me more of that doll-like eye, which I love because I love just making my eyes look bigger. When I do a natural makeup look, I always just apply on my top lashes. I don't want this lipstick to bleed at the corners. Maybe you should put powder to make it matte. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay, I'm gonna take my clear some powder. Mm. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. I'm gonna move on to the next eye. I think I'll just try using my fingers on this one. Oh yeah, I would just use my fingers. I feel like everyone used to use it. I remember I, I started, I knew it, I discovered like Gerard Cosmetics and stuff because of Carly Bible and she would always use it back in the day. Wow, this is the first time you finished your makeup before me. I know, eh? Because my eye look was really simple. I knew it was gonna take me like three minutes to do it. I just took long because I was like, Building, building up. I know I want to do like a quote-unquote dramatic eye, but I know I want to just use a, a lot of shadows. Just add it on to the more highlight because I really, I really want it to like pop. Um, and typically, what I'll do is before I leave, I'll just put on a little more powder in like my forehead, my chin, around my nose because this is where I get the most oily because I have very, very oily skin. So, but for now, I think it looks okay. My birthday makeup is complete. No, I love it. Super glam, super glow. I'm gonna take out my clips. Um, our best friend, our best friend's Jamie and Alara gonna come over so we can take pictures. But um, I'm straightening my hair for for my birthday. But Jamie's gonna bring the straightener because mine is literally garbage, and oh. I want it to be nice and and sleek. I have a bit of my highlight in the inner corner. Maybe I'll put on a little more blush. Okay, that's that's enough. Okay. Dude, don't want my lips to get clumpy. I think it looks fine. No, let's see how I be. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm satisfied. Me too. Okay, we're gonna come back and we're gonna pop on our dresses. Yes. Okay. So here is our completed birthday looks in the light. This is my dress from Aritzia. Um, for size reference, I'm pretty sure I got it in a size four but I think I would have preferred to get it in a two but it's still really really nice and then my heels I'm wearing are just Kendall and Kylie heels that I got like forever ago. I am wearing my dress is in a two and fits really great. It's a nice long midi dress and I'm gonna wear these lilac heels from H&M. Yeah this is the end of our get ready with me. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like having Morgan on the channel and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see future videos of mine. I will have all of our social media links down below. We're ready to have pasta tonight. Yes, I'm ready to eat. That is all. I really hope you guys have a great week and we will talk to you soon. Bye! Bye.